Hey Sugarfoot and welcome back to my video. So I have been using pink lotion for like the past week, a little over a week now, and I have had no problems with my scalp. As you guys know, um, I have seborrheic dermatitis and any type of heavy oils or like fatty chain acids, oils that contain fatty chain acids, cause me to have a flare up. Also, I'm allergic to acrylic, so if a product has acrylic in it, I will have another flare up. I found a product that doesn't have any heavy oils or any acrylics. And that is the original pink lotion because I went into the store and I grabbed, it was like a new version of it. And I noticed the ingredient list was different. I'm like, no. So I went back and looked and saw that they, they had the original one. Looked at the ingredients and I'm okay. Okay. So now my hair has been, oh, look at me. So now my hair is moisturized and my scalp is fine. My hair is moisturized and my scalp is fine. I have no lesions. I have no burning. Um, I have some itching, but I feel like it's like regular itching. Like if you have a random itch on your shoulder, it's not like I need to scratch itch. Um, no flakes. Look at these twists. My twists look so healthy right now. <laughs> they look so buoyant. Like, yeah. So, pink lotion for the win. I also put some hair tea in my hair. Um, I made like little tea bags. Hold on, let me show you guys. I found these little tea bags on Amazon and I made a little hair tea bag so that I can portion it out. Um, every two weeks, I'll make a new batch of hair tea. And in it is thyme, rosemary, amla powder, cinnamon, and cloves. So I put about a table, half a tablespoon of everything into the tea bag with um, half a stick of cinnamon. Yes, half a stick of cinnamon. And I've just been stirring it like that. So every two weeks, I'm gonna make a new batch of hair tea and I only use the hair tea once a week. I spray it on my hair right before I use the pink lotion. And um, I am very happy with how my hair looks right now. My twists, I've, I haven't seen my twists look this vibrant in a while. So I might've found the products and the routine that works for me. We'll see you next week. Next week we'll make it two official weeks that I've been using the hair tea and the pink lotion in tandem. So we'll see, we'll see. But so far so good, I'm happy with this. Um, I also did like a DIY treatment. Let me show you guys what I did. I broke my blender so I had to use soft ingredients. So I'm using mayonnaise, egg, honey, and MCT coconut oil. And this is the consistency that it came with. I used to do this treatment on my hair all the time. I'm not quite sure why I stopped, but I'm just gonna go back to doing what I used to do before because it seems to work pretty well on my hair. But this is my hair after the DIY treatment, after the hair tea, and the pink lotion. Am I in the camera? I don't know. But I'm happy so far so good, guys. I just won't be able to do many styles, but this is okay for me for for now. For for now, for now. <laughs> um, thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and add the Pinterest board, okay? I have a Pinterest board where I'm uploading my hair progress and I want to see you guys' progress as well. So Add the Pinterest board, upload your progress so we can just keep each other inspired because as y'all know, I have an issue with sticking to a journey. So let me see what you guys got going on. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe though. Do that and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload videos because for some reason I have over 25,000 subscribers and I'm only getting like 300 views. I know I got to build back up y'all trust with me in uploading these videos, but where y'all at? Oh, I'm standing over the radiator. Don't mind that. I'll see you guys in the next video.